Do any of you have any old DSLR Canon cameras lying around the house? Do you want to learn how to set this up as a webcam so you can use it alongside things like OBS, the video broadcast or even Twitch? If you do, then stick around. So this is the Canon EOS 100D that I'm going to be using as the webcam. Bought this camera quite a while back now. Um, basically I was hoping to get into doing photography but never really took off and the camera just sits there really and doesn't get used as much as it should. So this step that I'm going to show you now is just an optional step. Um, this camera came with two batteries but they only last for so long and there would be nothing worse if you were actually recording video footage or streaming yourself gaming and the, the batteries die and you, you lose your video signal so what I did was um, I purchased an, an adapter, a power adapter from Amazon uh, this cost me about £15 and I'll leave the, the link for this down in the description below uh, and I'll just quickly show you what I needed to do to get this all set up I think with uh, a lot of the Canon cameras if you leave the door open for any reason um, the camera basically doesn't power on so as you can see I've already took the battery out the camera just got this cable here from a little AC adapter that is rated for the camera just plug that in see there. there's a little connection in there and then the power lead plug into the other side of the adapter like so and then we would drop the battery the dummy battery if you want to call it that into the case just making sure it's where the contacts are now what you'll notice on this camera there's a little rubber grommet here um, if you can actually lift that out of the way and it allows you to put that cable tuck it into the side and then close the lid down in the camera and that basically allows it to power on without any errors or any faults so yeah, like I say, it's just an optional thing I thought I'd show you before I start getting into the software you need to use £15 from Amazon and it allows you to record for as long as you want right, let's go over to the computer in fact, first what I'll do is I'll show you how this is all set up on my desk and then we can go into the software on the computer so as you can see, that's the camera all set up now, and I've got this mounted on a camera desk mount, uh, which is just clamped onto my desk at the bottom here, as you can see, and beside the, the microphone boom arm, and it's, again, it's just a, a cheap uh, camera mount that I bought from Amazon, and I'll, I'll leave the, the link for that down in the description below. You can see the power cable that I installed earlier on, and I've got that running down the back of the, the mount, and I've used some Velcro ties just to tie up to keep the cables tidy then on the side of the camera there's a flap that you can open up and inside here there's different connections but one of those is a little mini USB connection so I've got one end of the cable in there I've run it around behind my monitor just now and it's plugged into the top of my PC later on I'll get a longer more a longer cable and I'll, I'll run it underneath the desk along with the power cable to keep it all tidy yeah so there it is a basic setup on a small desk and what we'll do now for you is run through the software. One other piece of advice I would give before downloading the software you need to run this as a webcam is to actually update the firmware on your camera. For me the firmware was fine, it actually worked okay. But um, just to make sure I was getting the best out of the camera, I updated the firmware anyway. So I googled my camera and it pointed me to this website. And uh, down here you can see there's a support uh, page you can click. All the various things in here and then the firmware and just download whatever the latest firmware is for the for the camera you guys are planning to use and uh, the version um, whether it's windows or mac that you're uh, going to be installing this with pretty easy process to do it's just a uh, one little file that, that gets downloaded you put it onto an sd card put it into the bottom of your camera turn your camera on go to the the settings or the menu settings um, and you should be able to scroll along and see the firmware click on the firmware and the options there to update it and it takes a couple of minutes to do and, and that's, that's your camera up to speed now what we'll do is i'll show you the actual webcam utility software you need to download so again in your browser if you type in canon webcam utility 
uh, using Google or Bing, whatever you use as your search provider, it should point you to a web uh, website looking like this. This is the the UK version of this. Uh, it may look something similar to you guys in the US or wherever in the world you're from. But if you scroll down anyway, uh, you will see a list of compatible cameras. My camera actually wasn't on this a few months ago. Um, well, I don't think it was anyway. I'm pretty sure I checked, but uh, I checked about a month ago and I noticed it's actually on it now, which is the Canon EOS 100D. So if you just scroll back up, you'll see that there's a link here for downloading it for Windows or downloading it for Mac if you're using that. <clears throat> just click on that. You'll probably have to create a, a little Canon user account, which I did. So once you do that, you'll get a, a notification that the download's commencing, and then you just open it up and install the software. It's a, it's a pretty quick, easy thing to do, and uh, that's that. What I'll now do is I'll take you onto the other pieces of software, like sort of OBS and uh, NVIDIA Broadcast, and show you how the camera looks and how it's all working. So if you open up your OBS software, what you should now be able to do is click on the plus sign down the bottom, then go to Video Capture Device, give it a name if you want, I'll call this Canon 100D after the model of the camera, click OK, and the device list should come up here. So as you can see, EOS Webcam Utility, which was installed earlier, is now one of the options. And there you have it, there's various uh, settings you can mess about with if you want, but as you can see, you can now see my ugly mush on the screen. Um, the lens I've got in my camera is an 18 to 55 millimeter. Um, probably get better lenses if you if you wanted to mess about with it, but you can twist that until you get the, the focus nice and sharp. Zoom right into my ugly spotty mush. Ooh. And zoom back out again. And you can see the quality is pretty good. Um, I think it's only running about 30 frames per second, uh, 720p, so you may notice a bit of kind of lag and latency on movement and stuff like that. So that's the OBS setup, pretty simple. And what I'll do now is I'll show you in the video broadcast, but there's other little tricks you can do with it as well. So that's me now getting the video broadcast software opened up for you. Um, if you've not used this, it's actually I would recommend giving it a try, it's got some neat features, things like uh, noise removal for microphone, which is really, really impressive, um, but the thing that we're looking at is the camera. So again, as you can see from the drop down venue, uh, the menu here, the EOS webcam utility is an option to choose, and again you can see my ugly mush. So as I mentioned earlier on, the camera runs at 1280 by 720p, it's not the greatest, but I mean, it's, it's pretty sharp compared to uh, webcams and stuff like that and uh, actually I've tried using my Samsung S21 Ultra as well uh, as a webcam and I'd say it's on par with that but uh, some of the neat features that's in NVIDIA broadcast is uh, you can see a drop down box here so background removal is ideal if you're playing games you're streaming or whatever and you want a little picture of yourself in the bottom corner so everybody can see your reactions and stuff to, to being killed by a, a five year old in Fortnite or something like that um, but there's other things you can pick from, there's a background blur, uh, as you can see I've just got a, a plain wall behind me just now, you can change the strength of the blur, um, and take it all the way back up, which has got quite a nice effect, keeps you in, in picture nice and sharp, and uh, quite a good look to the black, uh, background blur. You can put a background re replacement in, so this is just the default um, background you get with NVIDIA Broadcast, but you can, you can basically download anything you want and use it as a as a, a background um, and then we've got background removal again auto frame um, I think that keeps you and yeah if you move about it tries to keep your face in the center of the screen which is quite a nice feature as well don't think I would ever really use it to be honest and video noise removal maybe if uh, depending on the camera you're using you might get a little bit of uh, noise on your on your picture that, that, that'll remove that but back, background removal is probably the thing I would use it for. Um, so if you come out of that, and then you go into GeForce Experience, and turn your camera on, you should pop up down the bottom corner. There I am in it. And uh, then you can go into the settings, onto the HUD layout, and go to your camera, and then you can change 
the size as well. The only thing that I'm um, a bit of flicker in there, which I've noticed when you take up to the, the bigger size, but I would never use that size. I would keep it in the medium size. The only thing that I've noticed, and I can't get my head around it, is uh, the, the image at the bottom corner here is, is squished. Um, I don't know if it's because I play in an ultra wide monitor or something, it changes the aspect ratio. Um, it's strange because when you go back to the the actual the video broadcast software itself and have a look in the camera there, I'm not squashed at all. Uh, and this is on the, the widescreen monitor, so it's maybe something later on that they'll they'll fix. Uh, hopefully they do. Um, I'm seeing that it makes me look a bit slimmer. Might actually keep that. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, another video over for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it it's useful for you. If uh, if you do find it useful and you did like this video, as usual guys, please leave a like down the bottom and leave any comments. If you disliked it, again, leave any comments as it will help me towards future videos. And thanks again. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.